My name is Sam Vaknin and I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning. And today I want to discuss the rule of law and whether the European Union values values more than valuables. It is time, in short, to suspend the membership of Hungary and Poland. The European Union is trapped by its own rhetoric. Its money and mouth are not on the same page, to mix my metaphors. <laughs> It has yet to make up its mind whether it is mostly an economic union or a purveyor and custodian of values such as the rule of law and human rights. As the European Union veers towards the latter, the august body has a tendency to issue idle and laughable threats against its own errant members. This is bad policy. Carrying a big gun is only half the trick. Using it from time to time is indispensable. The latest fourth annual rule of law report spared no one, not even Germany. But not for the first time, it singled out Hungary and Poland for censure. The European Commission will withhold, will withhold budget funds to penalize both countries. And again, this is not unprecedented. Poland is an egregious case verging on authoritarianism. Last month, the European Court of Justice ruled that the country's judicial so-called reform should be repealed presto. In the banana republic that this country had become, Poland, the Minister of Justice is also the Attorney General. How delightful. Judges are dismissed if they don't toe the line. The Supreme Court of the land ignores ECG rulings. Poland paid 360 million euros in fines in the past three years for this particular infarction. Polish judges who invoke EU jurisprudence are reprimanded and disciplined. A newly founded administrative commission can exclude opposition politicians from public office. The media is anything but independent. The delightful landscape of Poland, democratic Poland. In the understatement of this new century, the report concludes that serious concerns persist related to the independence of the Polish judiciary. No kidding. The right-wing obscurantist and populist Law and Justice PIS party is campaigning in the September general elections. Euroscepticism, or even European Union enmity, are vote grabbers. Poland's justice minister, a far-right stalwart, castigated the European Court of Justice as, hold your breath, politicized. Why is Poland still a member of the European Union in the wake of several identical condemning, condemning reports? Why isn't it, at the very least, suspended? Because other members, including until recently Slovenia and now Hungary, resemble Poland too inconveniently. The European Union is no longer either liberal or democratic. It is merely cynical, deceptive and delusional. The report's scorecard for Hungary is an instance of such hypocrisy. This polity's parliament passed legislation to placate the European Union, vowing to bring the hopelessly decrypt decrypt and corrupt judiciary to up to EU standards. The Commission rejoiced in self-congratulatory bout. It said the new rules on the Supreme Court in Hungary will contribute to the transparency of its functioning and will decrease the possibility of political in interference. In your dreams. Alas, the Commission conveniently forgot to mention the rampant corruption in the nexus between politics and law in Hungary, not to mention the brutal emasculation of the other critical watchdog, the media. Hungary has been hitherto denied 12 billion euros in funds to no avail. No amount of money withheld will buy these members probity and healthy governance. 
Hungary is even blocking EU legislation in extortionate retaliation. There is only one way to go about it. The European Union needs to suspend members which hanker after Moscow and Beijing more than they care to imitate Brussels and Berlin. The EU is the reification of a philosophy, the reincarnation of an ideology of liberal democracy at its fairest and best. Countries like Hungary and Poland taint and compromise this vision. They have no more claim to the European Union than Turkey does. They should go their separate ways. They have no place in the EU as they are right now.